Okay, cool. All right, and Matt, if you could go throw in a notice in there, I am recording it, but if you could just let them know in the group that we are live and that they really should take a minute and come over to the webinar. And I have not eaten dinner yet, guys, so I will keep this uh, very brief. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log in to uh, Member Hub. And I'm going to show you what we've set up, kind of give you our vision on what we're doing there and uh, kind of give you an idea how you should be using the software. Um, and first of all, let me make sure that I am in the right one. You guys are probably seeing something you shouldn't be seeing. So hold on just a minute here. Let me see if I can get in this group real quick. Okay. I think I was in the wrong place, guys. Sorry, you're seeing future development, and we didn't want to confuse you guys with all the new things and everything, but... Just rest assured, there is a lot to this platform. So, okay. Okay, better, 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 better. All right. So, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I have done so far, and then I'll answer any questions, and I'll kind of show you uh, some of the things that you didn't know that this software is doing. Now, I'm basically playing with it, and I'm trying to break it, and the team is trying to break it as well. But as you can see, all of these products here were added to the member site. Matter of fact, I didn't do it at all. Uh, one of my partners, Bob, was actually the one that did it. He doesn't have a lot of experience when it comes to um, you know, doing stuff like this. He was familiar with Op Optimized Press and InstaBuilder and stuff like that. Um, but he was able to go in here and put all these products in without a tutorial video, without really asking me how to do it. He just kind of figured it out on his own. So that gave me hope. That was a big mission accomplished because our goal is, guys, we wanted to build a platform that everybody was going to be able to use. Okay, I don't care about launching a product. Uh, I don't care about having another software product underneath our name. We really wanted something that we knew everybody could use. So uh, let me just ask this question here. Yes or no, guys, is everybody feeling like this is something that they're going to be able to do? Just yes or no. Okay. Um, let me check with Carthur, too. He's over here pinging me. So here's the thing, guys. We have... Let's see, when we originally decided to build this platform, it was about a year ago, we put out a uh, message to you guys, we put out a page saying, hey, what would you like to see in a membership platform? And we've basically been taking all those ideas and concepts and trying to put them, making them a reality without making the platform really complicated because we knew that if it was too complicated that nobody would use it. And so that kind of defeats the purpose, right? We don't care about having a successful launch, we want to have a successful platform. So. Here's what's cool, guys. My first complaint with any existing platform out there is that there is all of these different, um, you know, different platforms, and most of them are based on WordPress, which we will have a bridge with WordPress as well. Actually, I think we already do. Uh, it just hasn't been given to you guys yet. But one of my biggest complaints was that you had to scroll through page after page after page after page, and if you had this many products, well, that meant you had like 100 WordPress pages, and you had to go and you had to find your product, and then you had the typical WordPress hierarchy. Yes or no? How many people feel my pain with that? So this was a dream scenario for me. I wanted to be able to come up here, and I wanted to be able to say, okay, I'm only going to work on affiliate domination, and that's it. All I want to see is affiliate domination. So, guys, we built it so that you could literally have a 1,000 products if you wanted, and you could go ahead and just say, okay, I just want to work on affiliate domination. And that's it. So I turn off all the other products, even though they're there, they're just currently hidden. Now, the next thing is, you guys have been playing with this, and we'll cover this. Um, this specific module, right, or this specific product has 10 modules, okay? And we've got it set up to where you can have as many categories and subcategories and subcategories and subcategories, and you could go as deep as you wanted to. But we did it in a way so that it was very easy to follow, okay? So when you get this many modules here and you start building off these with categories and subcategories and everything else, we also wanted the ability where you could limit the information that you were viewing 
per product. Okay, so that was the first thing. We want to make sure that things were not confusing for you and they were very easy. Okay, um, now I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here and somebody said, okay, wait a minute, I haven't even set up a product yet. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, let me rewind here. We'll start at the very beginning. If I come over here to dashboard, the first thing I want to do is I want to create a membership site. So I'll just come over here and I'll just call this webinar. This is going to be my membership name. And then I come over here and I create my uh, membership URL. Okay. Um, so now obviously this is the thing here, guys. This is a universal field. But what you need to know without getting into a lot of detail is you can map domain names. So even though we might have to choose something like webinars, and my first choice was webinar.memberportal.io, it's okay. I can use webinars because I can go ahead and map my domain name to this name right here. So I might want to use like uh, chadnicelysmembership.com, and I want to go ahead and map it to this domain. Yes or no, does everybody know that? Do you guys get that? We do have domain mapping, okay? So don't get too tight up there. So I'm going to go ahead and call this my webinar membership, okay? And so then over here for description, and I'm sure everybody got to this point except one person. I'm going to come over here and say this is the, let's see, this is the webinar membership for Chad Nicely. Okay, and then what I can do, guys, this is what's really cool. How many people have figured out the images and what we're doing here with the images? Yes or no? Has everybody figured that out? Now, what we've done is we have made it to where you can literally get a product up in minutes, okay? And the reason why is because you're going to choose one image for your membership, and we're going to use that image all the way through. Now, I recommend that you do that, guys. I recommend that you go out there and you find an image just like this, doesn't have to be a coffee shop, but whatever your product is. So this is webinar. So I might go into Google or deposit photo or something and pull something in that represents a webinar. And I recommend that you don't spend a lot of time doing this because here's the thing. People have already bought. They're already inside your membership site. They're not going to get upset if the image is not perfect. Okay. This is not selling now. Now it's taking care of the members. And the best way to take care of the members is to ensure that you're able to get the content up as fast as possible and that the membership site is very easy to navigate and they understand what they need to go, what they need to do. And we haven't got into monetization or the goals or uh, any of the gamification or anything yet. Okay, so that's what we've set up here. All right, so you want to go ahead and choose your membership image. And I know we're doing some other things with the membership images, but I'll go ahead and choose this guy right here. Okay, so I'm going to say insert. And then this now is my membership image, okay? So it brought in my title and it brought in my description. Cool, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and click the proceed button. All right, and actually I think, I don't know. This was a site he just gave me just now, so that's okay. So what's gonna happen is, even though all these things are locked here, they're locked for a reason, guys, because number one, we are still going through the QA process of each and every template. Okay, there's a hundred templates. It's an extensive QA process because I don't want to put out garbage. All right, so we're testing each and every one. It's an entire process. Okay, so for right now, what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and choose your template. So we want you to use this one right now. So you're going to click the preview button and there might be a little bit of delay because I'm on a webinar, but what that's going to do is it's going to say, okay, here is what your um, membership site will look like. Okay, so I can say, okay, here's my login page. And by the way, this is customizable. These are called elements. You're going to be able to swap out those elements, and you'll be able to swap out the image if you want. Here is what your um, uh, content page looks like. Here's what your module page looks like, or your category page. Sorry, I stand corrected. And then if we come over here, here is what the video module page looks like. And then here's a sample of what your sales page looks like. Now, yes or no, do you guys kind of get an idea of what your overall membership's gonna look like just by looking at that right there? Yes, you do. Okay, that was the idea. So you're gonna have that with every single template, guys. There's no guessing. You're gonna know exactly what it looks like. So I'm gonna say, okay, cool. So I wanna go ahead and choose this theme. Now, this here is probably throwing a lot of you guys off, all right? But the reason why, we don't have a good explanation for this yet on the screen, but we will. I've given it to them. They just haven't placed it yet. Here's the thing. 
okay? I want you to very quickly come up with, um, with a concept and a theme without being overwhelmed and without spending a lot of time on it. So what we can do is, number one, we can come over here and we can change out our logo if we want to. Number two, we can come over here and we can change out this image here. Now, I'm going to remove this, guys, because right now it doesn't really matter. Whatever image you chose for your membership, we'll go ahead and place it there. And I don't want you to change this out right now because this is going to confuse things. But what I do want you to do is I want you to come over here. We have already went and tested high converting colors. And as you can see, we've gone and we've matched them together. So you have this color and you have this color. Now, yes or no, how many people feel like that's a nice feature right there? Yes or no? We've done it all for you, so it's not a guessing game. Do you know why, guys? Because we don't want you messing around with this stuff. There's no reason for you to have to figure this out, okay? So I tend to like the blues, so I'm going to go with this right here. And then if I want, guys, if I want, I can come over here and I can say, okay, here's my header color, my primary color, my text color, uh, my big uh, bar color. And then there also should be a place for the background color. I don't see that now. Um, let me see. I'll have to find out why because there was a place just the other day, and don't worry about this, but you will have a place where you can put in a pattern for your background, and you can also change out the background color. They took that out right now, but it's okay. So here's the thing, guys. You're looking at this, you're going, well, what in the world is this, Chad? And what this is, before I overwhelm you on the next screen, I wanted you to come up with something that looks pretty right here, okay? So I wanted you to take this image and say, okay, does this image match my logo? Am I happy with my colors and everything? Yes or no, how many people feel like it's easy to focus on just this little canvas right here? Anybody? Very easy, isn't it? Yeah, and can you see how fast you're gonna be able to knock out websites you know, all the customization, the colors, and everything. Because here's the, what I did was I gave you the bare elements that you need. You need to know what your logo is, what your main image is. You need to know what color text you want, the color background, the color of your buttons, and your header colors. Boom! That's it. That's all you need to know, guys. All right? So, what's going to happen is we're going to say, okay, go ahead and apply this to all. And as soon as we do, what's happened now is we are over here on step two. So step one is done. We've already chosen our theme. And now here's where the time actually comes in, guys. What I want you to do, and we've actually got several login pages right here. We're going to put a little page icon here, and you're going to be able to choose out of like 10 different login pages. What I want you to do is I want you to take your time and I want you to go through each and every one of these pages. And what you are doing is you are creating master templates for your membership site. Okay? And if you come to this page, you say, okay, wait a minute. I don't like this color here, or I don't like this color here. Then you can go ahead and change it. And you can save it just on this one page, or you can apply it to all. But how many people have actually used something like Optimize Press? Just say yes or no. I don't usually mention stuff on the call like that, but I'm going to because I'm frustrated with it. So here's the thing, guys. We make a page look beautiful, okay? And then we want to go create another video module page. So what do we do? We clone the page, and then we have to go and recreate all the elements and everything, and we have to recreate the colors and everything. And wow, what a waste of time, right? A membership site that's going to take you literally 20 minutes to create right here has taken me upwards of three to four weeks, and I really know what I'm doing with that platform. And I said, screw that, and that's why we created this right here, okay? So what you're doing is you are creating master templates that you're going to be able to use over and over and over and over and over. So with that being said, we want you to take a little bit of time choosing your templates, okay? We want you to customize these things. We want you to make them look nice because they are your master templates. Now, what they have off right now, I'm going to ask them why, is they actually have the elements off. So, what's happening, guys, this could just be because we're in the beta stage right now, but they were on for me a little while ago. You're actually going to hover over this area right here. There's going to be a little pencil, and you're going to click that, and you're going to be able to change out this whole entire element. So, you'll choose a different video module and everything. You come over here, guys, if you say, okay, I don't like this menu module, little uh, pencil is going to appear, and you're going to be able to change out the whole entire element. 
right? So you'll be able to choose out your menu. You'll be able to choose out how the video is displayed. You'll even be able to choose out this section right here, okay? These down here, these are called other uh, related modules. Guess what? It's going to be an element, and you're going to be able to choose which um, related modules you want to appear. All right? So that's the thing, guys. We want you to take your time, and we want you to go through all of these pages right here, and we're going to add some more, and that's it. We want you to create master templates. Yes or no, how many people understand the master template concept? Do you guys understand this? So step number one, we wanted you to choose your theme. Step number two, we wanted you to perfect the theme. We wanted you to use all the right colors, all the right elements, everything else. Okay? So once we've done that, once we're happy, then we're going to actually start creating our membership site. Okay? So here's how this works, guys, and this is really cool what we've done. All right? We're going to go and create as many products as we want to this membership site. I'm going to explain what all these things mean here. I'm going to show you how you can drag and drop things, how you can create categories, and everything else. Okay? And then I'm going to explain the difference we have with the packages versus the levels. Okay? So we'll come over here. Uh, somebody's saying very similar to what we're doing with our digital publishing SaaS platform. Yeah, exactly. And you can do this, but it's usually all custom code. So that's the key, right? Like, obviously, we know how to do this to our custom platform as well, but now find a way to make it to where everybody can use all these features, and that's where the challenge comes in. That's why we've been at this for a year in development, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new product, all right? So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to name my product. So I'm just going to call this Video Authority, okay? And we're just saying Video Authority is something that Chad just made up, okay? And then what I can do, guys, is if I had a list of instructors over here, then what I can do is I can go ahead and pull them in. I'll show you that, okay? For right now, we'll just leave this blank. And then I can go ahead and upload an image, all right? Or it'll go ahead and default to the one I chose for the membership, which I believe was this one. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank, and it's going to go ahead and default to my membership one, and then I can go ahead and upload my logo. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and now what I've done, guys, is I just created a new product called Video Authority. Yes or no, how many people feel like they're good so far? Are you guys good? Good. Okay. So now that we have this product here, uh, matter of fact, let me just go ahead and come in here, and I'll upload the same image just to make sure, uh, because what I just realized is I told you wrong. The first image we created was for the actual membership. This is for the actual product. So this is the first place I'm going to put in that image, and then it will pull in the image to everywhere else. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. All right? And now you see here is the membership site we just created. Here is the name of the product, not membership site, but product. Okay, so you can see I can very easily come in here and edit all my details. Now, the next thing we want to do, guys, is if I add a video right here, then this video is going to appear on the first page to the product. Okay, and I'll show you that. But what we need to do is we need to start adding content to this product. So if I want, I can come over here and I can add a video module. I can add a content module. I can add a giveaway module. This is where somebody would come to download like a free report or something like that, which the template's not perfect yet, but I will get it there. Or we can come over here and we can go ahead and add a category. So if I click Add Category, here's what's going to happen. The category is in blue. And if it's in blue, that means that I cannot put something underneath it, okay? And there's a reason. It gets very complicated with the logic, but we want to make sure that you never have categories on the same page as pages. So what we could do now is we can go ahead and add a subcategory below this, and it's going to turn green. Wherever it turns green, that means that now we can start putting pages underneath, okay? Notice, I can't put a page underneath the master category because I had a subcategory underneath this one here. All right? It's a little bit of a complicated concept, guys, and it's one that I will really take my time with when I go and shoot these videos. But for right now, let me show you the easiest way to do this 
if you're planning on using categories. Now, yes or no, how many people are planning on using categories? Yes or no? Can you explain? Okay, hold on just a minute, guys. Let me come over here. Watch. I'll make this very easy for you to understand, okay? So let me come over here. Let me just go ahead and blow this up so that you can see, because this, this is a very complicated process, and membership platforms usually can't handle this. So let's see. Here's what we have, okay? We might have a category for dogs, and we might have a category for cats, okay? So number one, you're going to choose, okay, do I want dogs or do I want cats? And so you're going to choose dogs, and then there's going to be a page that says, what type of food do you want? And so I have cheap food, and then I have expensive food, and then I have, um, what's another one? We'll just have um, cheap, expensive, and we'll just have normal. Okay? So this here was a category. I got to choose between dogs or cats. And if I chose dogs, then I come over here and I get to choose between these categories. And so then if I say expensive, then I have chicken or I have beef. Okay, and then underneath this, I'm now going to have my pages, all right? So the pages are the end, okay? So if we look over here, if I choose cheap, then okay, let's go ahead and take them to a page. And same thing over here. If I choose normal, let's go ahead and take them to a page. And once I drill down further, if I chose expensive, I said, okay, now that you've chosen expensive, do you want beef or do you want chicken? If they chose chicken, I'm going to go ahead and take them to a page. If they chose beef, i got a couple of pages for them. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of cats altogether, but that was just kind of show you that I had two categories up here. Yes or no, do you guys understand the concept that I just showed you here? It's a little confusing, but you'll get it. And what I recommend you do is I recommend that you really think this out ahead of time. Lay out, and by the way, somebody's saying, what in the world are you using? I'm using bubble.us, B-U-B-B-L.us. You can get a free account, okay? What I recommend is that you map out your membership sites. And once you map out your membership sites, then I recommend that you map out your categories inside of Member Hub. So we have cheap, expensive, normal, okay? So I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to go ahead and create a category called Dogs. Okay, so I'll come over here and I'll name this category and we'll call this dogs. Okay, and then I'm going to create another category and I'm going to call it cats. Now, I don't want to click create category on this level because it's going to create a subcategory. I still want to create another top category, so I'm going to go ahead and name this cats. Okay, there's my top categories. And then what I can do, if we come back over to bubbles, now we're going to go cheap, expensive, normal off of dogs. So I'll come over here, and instead of creating the top category, we're going to go ahead and create a category underneath dogs. So now we have cheap, and we have expensive. Okay, so I'm going to click this one right here. And we have expensive. And we have normal. Okay, so I'll click this one again. And we'll make this one right here. Oops, I didn't save it. Cheap. Okay, click save. Okay, there we go. And then this one here is going to be normal. Now, what I'm doing, guys, is a very complicated way to build membership sites. Most people are just going to stick modules under there and call it good. Okay, so if we look at this. We just did this. We did dogs, we did cats, and then we did cheap, expensive, normal, and then we take expensive, and we're going to break that down more, and that's going to be chicken and beef. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to do, see now it's blue, you can't put a page under it, but this here is going to be chicken. I'm going to click save, I'm going to come back over to my blue one, and we're going to do it one more time, and yep, expensive, and this is going to be beef. Okay, now, if you look you'll see that there's two slashes in front of this, okay? So we have our tags here, which is our top-level categories. Notice it's a different section. And then if we look here, 
This is a second level, second level, one level, one level, and these two second levels are underneath the one level. Wow. Yes or no? Do you guys get it? You really want to map this out ahead of time before you start creating pages. Okay? Here's what's cool. All right. Let's say that here's, – here's, here's what's awesome, guys. Let's say that I went and mapped out dogs perfectly and I'm happy with it. Well, guess what you're going to be able to do if you can't do it in this one right here? Um, I think they turned it off, but you are going to be able to come in here and clone this whole entire category as well as all the subcategories and pages inside. Okay? So if your categories are all the same, then you can go ahead and clone. You can clone out an entire product. You can clone out an entire category. You can clone an existing uh, subcategory. By the way, we can go ahead and close these two. Okay? So you're going to be able to spend a little bit of time creating this perfectly, and then you can go and clone everything out. And we've already got the features there to do it. I just don't know why they have it turned off. But what they've done is they've moved everything over here to this memberportal.io. So maybe things are still migrating over. I'm not quite sure. But I've been playing with the clone feature now, guys, for about three to four months. And it works perfect. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So I have my product now. And now I covered my categories. So are you guys pretty comfortable on the categories? Because if you are, I'm going to get off them. Because this is the most confusing part of the whole membership. And I promise you, I will have very, very detailed videos showing you exactly how it works. Okay? So what's going to happen is most of you are going to come over here and you're going to have six videos, right? So you're going to click this here six times, okay? So I've already got three modules. And so I'm going to come over here and I can name this whatever I want, but I'll just go ahead and call it module one. And by the way, we're still playing with this here, so we will change this up a little bit. And if I want, I can go ahead and put in a new image just here for Module 1. So everybody said, hey, will you uh, integrate with Usine and Canva and all that stuff? Yeah, we'll do that, but I really don't want you guys messing with that. I want you to use the same image right here and let us put the name of it on there for you. Okay? We want you to get this up as fast as you can. So we have Module 1, and then I come over here and I can go ahead and change this to Module 2. And by the way, guys, notice, and I'm not going to use any names here when I said that, do you notice that I haven't come up here and I haven't had to open up a big monster menu that we need tutorial videos on just to figure out what that menu does or anything? Do you guys agree? This is pretty easy to do, isn't it? A lot of you are doing this, and we don't even have tutorial videos in there yet. Cool. So I just went and named my three modules, and again, I can come over here and I can edit the information if I want to. Now, you will want to have this information done because we're going to use this information on your sales page, which we'll get to that shortly. So now I've gone and created my modules. The next thing is I can come over here and I can do some things that are tied to the specific module. So whatever you see inside this block, it's going to affect this page, right? So it starts up here. Whatever you see up here, it's going to affect your overall product. And we'll cover all these items. Whatever we see here is going to affect this product right here. And whatever we see here is going to affect this specific module page. Okay? So I've created a module. Now the next thing is, let's just go ahead and work on this. Now obviously this is a video module, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click this page here. Now, what this does, this allows me to add text to my page. So I can put whatever I want here, okay? And I didn't want no drag and drop. I didn't want you guys creating sections. I didn't want you doing anything complicated. I just wanted you to be able to put whatever you want here. If you want to put a video here, you can. If you want to put an image here, you can, okay? Anything, hyperlinks, whatever you guys want to do, you can very easily come over here and you can do it, okay? You can come over here, you can upload the image. We can put videos in here, and we can do whatever we want to do, all very simple. You lay this page out, we're going to go ahead and place that page inside the membership. Uh, yes, we'll get to the comments, but yes or no, how many people appreciate what I'm showing you here? 
Now, watch this. How many people have gone to a membership site before and it says, okay, thank you so much for checking out this page. I've got three simple steps for you to follow. You'll find those steps below this video. Yes or no, how many people have seen that? Watch this, guys. If I come over here to this thing that says insert blocks, you guys are going to absolutely love this. This was the whole reason why we wanted to build our own platform. If I click on insert blocks, now what I can do is I can add an action block or I can add a goal block. Right now I'm going to add an action block. So I'm going to click this here and I've got four types to choose from. All of them have a video here and then I can have a video with a opt-in form, a video with an image, a video or this is actually a button, a video with an image blocker, video with a text block. So I'm going to go ahead and say okay I want this right here. All right. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and fill out these call to actions, right? So I can say step number one, I can go ahead and select a video or I can go ahead and add a new video, okay? So I can put in my embed code or I can just come over here to Amazon if I was integrated, I can go ahead and pull this in automatically or I got embed codes and other stuff, Dropbox, and we're adding quite a bit to this as well as we're listening to your guys' suggestions. But you can see we've already got quite a bit here for you, okay? So let me come back over here to the blocks and I'll go ahead and do that again. I shouldn't have closed that, but I'll go ahead and create this block here, okay? So I'll choose my video, and then here's my button text, here is my link, and then I can choose do I want this box automatically open, or do I want it closed? And a matter of fact, guys, let me come over here and get a video real quick. Let me see what they want for their code. Um, I think if I open this, yeah, let me just do it this way. Can I do it this way? So I got video, Vimeo embed code, Amazon S3, which I'm not, usually I'm tied to my Amazon S3. So let me come over here and just grab this real quick. Okay. Matter of fact, I'll grab hey, one of my uh, clients. I was just working on his video today. Okay. So let me grab him and we'll come down here to share. I'll just get the embed code real quick. And it's usually easier than this, but I'll go ahead and put in my embed code. Okay. And there's a video right there. Okay, that's it guys. How many people feel like they can do that? Yes or no? Now watch this. I'm going to click insert block and as soon as I do, the block is now inside the sales page. Matter of fact, let me make a note of that really quick. Um, okay, there's a block right there. We're going to have to change something there real quick because it should have closed, but that's okay. No big deal. We'll get it. That's why we're in beta, but it should have closed and okay. I know why, it's because I was in that other page. So let me try it again. I'll pull this video down. Is it going to be there? Add new video. Okay, let me just do it this way. I didn't want the block to close, but we'll do it this way. There's a the video, and I'm going to say insert block. Okay, perfect. So do not go and open up another tab like I did. So you see, there is the block right there. Now you're saying, but wait a minute, that's not your video or anything. No, and there's no way for us to do that, but just understand that everything is inside this block here. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click save. Now, with just a little bit I've done, guys, what I can do is I can come over here and I can click this little eyeball here and I can see exactly what my page is starting to look like. Yes or no? How many people get this? How easy is that? I've already got my menu being filled in. There's nothing I need to do with my menu. I've got my block here coming in, right? And I go ahead and minimize it so I can have my steps here, right? And I can put in whatever text I want here, images, more videos, whatever I want to do. My related modules are already starting to show up for me down here. Okay. And notice, guys, most of you would be fooling around with Photoshop or Canva or um, Uzine. And you're going to spend all your time creating these little thumbnails and everything. And I'm telling you right now, you don't need to do that. Let the software do it for you. Instead, I want you guys focused on creating products, okay? So you can see that my site's already being formed. Now, let's come back over here, and I'll go ahead and close this, okay? So I'm over here. That was inside of the page, okay? Now what I can do, guys, is I can come over here, and I can add some resources. So I have three different resource types. I can use a download content, external URL, or I can just go ahead and put in the note. So for right now, I'm going to choose an external URL. I'm going to say Chad's favorite mind mapping tool. Okay, 
And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my domain. And I'm going to say, Chad is crazy about bubbles. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and click submit. Now what just happened is it not only added the resource to this page, but it also came over here and put it in my resource library where I can go ahead and pull that resource into as many modules as I want for as many products as I want. So if we come back over here and we preview this page, what happened is, see this little box right here? This is my resources. And if I click this, look here, guys, Chad's favorite mind mapping tool. That's where your resources are going. And they can come over here and they can leave notes here. And I'm going to show you what we're doing with the notes. It's really cool. And then any comments that are coming in from the membership are also going to appear here. Okay? So that's where the resources are going. Do you guys understand the resources? Yes or no? Cool. All right. Now, we did the resources. Watch this. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a video. Now, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and add a new video, okay, because I don't want to add the same one in there. So I'll go ahead and choose this guy right here. I'll click share again. I'm just going to use the embed code, even though I don't think it's the best thing to do. But for right now, for sake of time, let me grab the embed code. I'll come back over here, and I'll go ahead and paste in the embed code. I say check out this video. Okay, click submit. All right, here it is right here. So I'm going to say insert this video. Okay, and now if we come over here and we preview this page, now we have our main video and we have the steps down below. And we can put as much text here as we want. We can do whatever we want. You guys getting this? You don't even have to put in these blocks here, guys. You simply come over here. Once you've created your module, you click a little video button right here. You drop your video in, and guess what? Your membership site is pretty much being built. Yes or no? How many people feel like they can do that? We don't want you dragging and dropping. We don't want you doing any of that stuff. We want you simply, most people are going to click this button, they're going to add a video, and they're going to put a little bit of a text description there, and that's it. We're going to take care of the resources, placing all that for you. We're going to do everything, okay? All right, so we've got through these three blocks here. Now, if I come over here, this we're going to come back to later on. And this right here, guys, if I click this, I can decide if I want to disable this page from showing in all the related modules for this product, if I want to disable the related modules from showing on the page, or if I want to disable this page from showing in the side menu. So let's come back over here and I'll explain. All right, I had three options. Number one, I can disable this page from showing in this menu just by clicking something. Number two, I can disable this page from showing in all the related modules, which is this right here. And number three, I can disable the related module block, which is this right here, from showing on this page. Yes or no? Do you guys get it? So you have complete control. That's my goal. My goal is to give you guys complete control on what you want to do with your page. Okay? So let me go ahead and close this. We'll come back over here. So we covered this. We'll get back to that. We covered the related modules. This is how we delete the page. This is how we activate the page. So if we want to set it to an inactive status, we can do that. Here's how we preview it. And then if we come over here, we're doing some really cool stuff with logic. What I can do is I can enable a drip feed on this page, and I can say, and I probably won't do it with this one, okay? I would do it, since this is the first page, we're not going to drip feed this page. But if I come over here, what I can do is I can say, okay, enable drip feed on this page. So what happens is, as soon as they're done with module one, then I want to go ahead and mark the page as complete, which means module three will open up. And so we can come over to Module 3, and we can set a drip feed on this. It says, okay, as soon as they're done with Module 2, then open up number 3. Okay? And we've got some cool options. You guys saw me make that post in the Facebook group. So you'll be able to either uh, hide the modules that haven't opened yet, or you'll be able to show them, and there will be a little unlock thing, or a little lock thing saying that they're locked. Okay? We started that yesterday. So 
I can also say, okay, when module one is completed and three days have passed and they've earned 200 points and they've earned this badge, then move them to module three. You have complete control what you want to do, okay? So you don't even have to have a completed module. Well, you can say, okay, um, yeah, you don't even have to have a completed module here. You can just say, okay, they need to have at least 200 points to open up this page here, all right? I don't expect you guys to understand this concept right away, but just understand it's very powerful and it's something that I will do extensive training on, um, and it definitely is something that really hasn't been done very well, okay? So that there takes care of the drip feeding, and then what we can do is we can drag and drop this wherever we want. Remember when we had the categories that were green? Well, I could simply go over there and I could drag it underneath that green category, okay? So that covers this whole entire bar here. Um, yes or no, do you guys understand that? Ooh, somebody, somebody just made a great suggestion. What about drip feeding based on time? For example, a new module would open every seven days. So I hadn't thought of that before, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a drip feeding action up here where it's on the product level, and we'll just set it up to where you can just say, okay, let's drip feed them all every, every day or so. Cool? That's easy. We'll do it. I just made note of it. All right. Okay, and by the way, guys, the way I'm doing this right now, this is how I do this with all platforms, with Easy Links, with Member Hub. You guys have been watching that for a while, my product library. Um, we're we're going to do it the same way with this here. Okay, I'll be getting on webinars with you guys saying, hey, do you guys have any ideas? And you guys have seen how we're handling the Facebook group and everything. You'll make that post up there saying, hey, here's a bug. Here's a suggestion. Even after the launch, I don't care about the launch. I care about having a stellar platform that nobody even wants to compete with. Um, but even after the launch, we'll do the same exact thing, okay? It's not just a platform that we're just creating for a launch. It will always be maintained. So if you guys see something really cool um, that comes out or whatever, I don't want you to have to go buy another product. I just want you to share the idea with me. And, you know, I got 100 different developers. We will get it built into the platform, okay? That's my promise to you guys. And by the way, I don't know where they're going to come out, um, guys. For those people that receive this product as a bonus for buying a $47 product, $197 product, whatever you guys bought, uh, they're talking about launching this at $997. So you guys got an amazing deal. I don't know if it's going to launch that high. It might go out at $497. That's my vote. Um, but either way, you guys got an amazing deal. Okay, so that's where we covered this block here. And so if we come over here, I already explained how this is how we put a video on the page. And by the way, I'm very, very uh, a firm believer in consistency. So I don't like to change things on you. I like you to get used to something, and then I want you to know how to use it throughout the whole entire site. So you will see that a lot with Member Hub. You will see a lot of consistency, and there's a reason for that. Okay, so we covered this. This is how you put those modules and categories down below. And then if we come over here, we can go ahead and set the related module settings uh, for the whole product. So if we don't want the related modules, which is this part right here, if we don't want these showing up, then we can go ahead and turn them off up here, okay, for the whole entire product. So if I click this here, boom, they're all off, all right? And the same thing, we delete, we can activate the product, we can view the product, and we can move the product where we want. And we come over here and we can go ahead and minimize it. Is this helping you guys? Cool. All right, so that's how we create a product and that's how we are going to create the content in the product. Yes or no, do you guys feel like you can do this? All right, now I'm gonna come back over here to the blocks and I'm going to come over here to the shopping cart. Or actually, I'm going to come over to the lock and the shopping cart. And by the way, I don't know why. Uh, usually, there's a place here to also turn on and off the comments. Uh, so you'll have complete control where you want the comments to appear and where you don't want them to appear. Right now, guys, there's a lot of stuff that's off. And I'm going to find out, Car I'm going to find out from Karthik why all that stuff's off because I'm not quite sure. But it's okay. We've been testing it for a long time, and it's working beautifully, all right? So 
Next, what we're going to do, guys, now that we've gone and we've created this beautiful product, the next thing we need to do, let me come back over here in my bubbles. And I'm going to go ahead and show you because this was complicated to figure out too, but you guys will really appreciate this, okay? So we have what's called a level, and then we have what are called packages, okay? Every single product needs to have at least one package, all right? Now you understand why we called it this when we get over to the sales page, but a level consists of product, or uh, yeah, product one, product two, and then let's say product six, okay? So what you can do is you can create a level for these three products, however many products you want. But a package is going to take one of these levels and it's gonna take like product one and it's gonna break it down. So you're gonna have a front end offer. So maybe this is like an ebook, okay? And then when they buy the ebook, you say, hey, I have audio courses available. So this might be upsell number one, which is your audio course. And then maybe we have a coaching program, $497 coaching program. So how we do that is we do that with packages. So we have package number one, package number two, package number three. And what we're able to do with these packages is we're able to bring them over to your sales page for you. Okay? Do you guys understand the difference between levels and packages? Yes or no? Good. Now, having said this, what we'll do as a default is we're going to go and create a package called um, Video Authority. Okay, we need to at least have one package, or guys, we don't have any way to grant access. Okay, does that make sense? We need to have at least one package. Remember that. If you don't have a package, there's no way to set a permission level for those pages. Okay, so now that you understand that, let's come back into here. Okay, levels and packages. And by the way, do you guys see how fast this site is? It's fast, isn't it? Like we ran all this code, a year's worth of code, through a process called Scrutinizer. And Scrutinizer goes and it takes the code and it explains where you might have an error or where something could be sped up or something like that, okay? So trust me when I say that this, this site here was built rock solid, all right? And it was built for speed. So now that I've explained this right here, okay, levels and packages, Let's come back over here and let's go ahead and create a package. So I'm going to click on package. I'm going to choose my product. And the reason why is because you might have a, you might have a package with the same name for all your products. But the problem is we wouldn't know which package to put with which product because you got the same name. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this product right here and I'm going to create a package. Okay, so we choose our product, we create a package. Now my package is going to be um, starter package. I can call it whatever I want and notice that my image is already starting to fill in over here. Whatever you put here is what we're going to drop on the sales page. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my product again even though I think this is redundant because I've already chosen this so I'll get this fixed for you guys. And then what I can do is I can say okay this consists of a very or actually no, for the for the content I'm gonna say ebook and video modules. Okay, notice it's filling in over here. And then for my package description, I can say this is the basic package for video authority. Okay. And if I want, I can set a trial period to this. Right now I'm not gonna mess with that. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so here's my one package. Next, we're gonna come over here to payment options, okay? Uh, we've got some more options coming in here. They've actually turned them off for the time being because I don't like something I saw. Um, but I can go ahead and do JVZoo, I can do PayPal, I can do whatever I wanna do. I click save. Um, let me just make sure. Affiliate program, let me try something else. 
there should be another window that opens up and I'm not seeing it. Um, let me find out why that is. Uh, I'll have that on for you tonight. Um, I should have taken the time and gone through this before I gave you guys access, but it was kind of last minute. Um, but as soon as you click save, guys, what happens is you'll go ahead and choose your price as well. So where it says free access, your price will come in, and then you're automatically going to have an affiliate program as well for that product that you just went and added. Okay? So um, let me do this again. Starter package. Choose product, video authority, package content, ebook, video modules. Okay, and I'll say this is the starter package for video authority. Okay, and I'll go ahead and click save. All right, all right, there it is. So there's my package, um, but let me come in here and edit it again because. It did not let me choose a payment type. So, okay, there it is. I don't know then. Maybe I did something wrong. But I can choose my payment type, and so I'll say, okay, this is $37, and then I can go ahead and put in my thank you page, right? So I'll say, Chad Nicely, wow.com forward slash thank you. Okay, and then here's my payment link. If you're doing this with JVZoo, then we're going to give you a link, and you got to put it in the product that you create. Don't worry about it, guys. I will have a video for you. So I'll go ahead and click Save, and what I've done is I've created my package. Okay? Do you guys understand this? And, yes, we will get into more detail as far as, like, payments. You know, we'll do everything that you guys want to do with this. Okay? Um, it's just been a little bit complicated. And uh, I see that Karthik is on the call. He said, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask. Um, so that's good. Appreciate you being here, bud. Um, and also, Karthik, if I can just ask you, I'm seeing that there are some things turned off, like the cloning feature is turned off, comments are turned off. Like there's a lot of things that we've been playing with for the past six months, and they're turned off. Are you aware of that? We're not seeing it in the new domain. Let me see what he says here, guys. Okay, he says yes. So there must be a reason for that, guys. I promise I will get those things on as fast as I can. All right, so if I come back over here to packages, see here? Um, let's see. I feel like the older domain worked better. Um, so you see, Karthik, that, oh, wait, I have to choose my product first. Okay, there it is. There's my package. I didn't have my product selected. That was probably the problem the whole time. If I want to come over here and add a welcome message, guys, so uh, this is the email they're going to get when they purchase this package, I can go ahead and do that. But for all intents and purposes, I'm going to go ahead and do one more. So we'll call this the, um, let's see, we'll say audio upsell. I wouldn't call it an upsell in real life, but we'll go ahead and do this. And then let's see, this, uh, we'll just say audio CD and live webinars, okay? And this is the upsell to video authority. All right, I'll click save, and let's see if the payments, okay, there it is right there. All right, um, and see, I click save before I set the price. So let me come over here. I'll do my payment type again. So I'll say that this is going to be $67, and we'll just go ahead and do link.com. You guys understand that. I'll click save. Okay. And I come back over here to my packages. I'm not going to see anything because I have to choose the product. Okay. There's my two packages. Do you guys understand how to go and create these packages? Yes or no? Okay. Uh, Karthik, there's somebody named Robert saying he's still waiting to get access to login and maybe you can help him with that. Okay, so the two packages have been created. Now, if I want to create my levels, it kind of works the same way. So we're going to click Create Levels, okay? And so I'm going to call this a gold level. And in the gold level, I'm going to have a video authority, email domination, and copy secrets. This is what's going to consist in my gold level, and this is the premier package 
for Chad's customers. Okay, and before I hit save, let me come over to payment options and I'll choose PayPal. See, I must have done something wrong, guys. And I'm going to sell this package for $497. Okay, so we'll go like this. And I'll put in my OTO link, which, by the way, can be an upsell. Absolutely, it can. It could be a link that we give you. Okay, so here's all the description right there. I can also change out my image, guys, by coming over here and go ahead and upload my own image, or I can just go ahead and choose one of our images. So there it is right there. Notice it says gold level. I'll go ahead and click save. All right, now what I've done um, is I've gone and I, I click save, and it's not letting me save it. Let me click save from here. Okay, we got a save button that's broken on the payment options card thing. So now I've gone and created a gold level, which consists of my products, and then I went and created two packages, which was a breakdown of one product. Does everybody understand that, yes or no? Good. This was very complicated to figure out. Okay, it was not the easiest thing to figure out, but uh, I, I'm really happy with what we figured out. Okay, so now that we've gone and created these packages and these levels, and by the way, they only are tied to video authority. Okay, now let's come back in here and let's go ahead and set some levels. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, okay, for this one right here, see how we have a shopping cart here? That means we can set a package, but see how we have a lock right here? That means we can set a level. So if I want this to be gold, then I can go ahead and set this for gold. And if I want this to be gold, then I can go ahead and set this for gold. And if I want this right here to have specific packages, then I can go ahead and choose my package. Isn't that clever? Don't you guys just love that? That's awesome, right? So you can actually sell levels that consist of multiple products and you can sell packages in an individual product. And I'm going to show you what we're doing with that, okay? So I'm going to say, okay, module one is going to consist of my starter package. So I'll go ahead and click save. And then module three is going to be my upsell. And module two is going to be my upsell. And guess what, guys? I have now gone and set my permissions. That's it. It really is that easy. I will also tell you, do we have any Infusionsoft users in the house, yes or no? Let me know if you're an Infusionsoft user. This is going to be an upsell, Gene. This is not going to be included in the launch, but guess what we did? Because I am a very, very big Infusionsoft user, we made it to where you can actually set Infusionsoft tags with your modules. It'll pull in, when you click this here, there's another little tab and you can say, I want to pull in my Infusionsoft tags. Obviously, we have it turned off for beta users, but it's already done. And it's easy and it's awesome. Okay, so now I showed you guys how to set levels. So we covered the lock, we covered this. Now, what I want to cover one more thing. Remember when I said, that we had these optional settings over here. So we'll talk about gamification in a minute, but we have manage instructors, manage rewards, manage testimonials, um, manage resources. So remember when I came over here and I pulled in this resource, I went and created a resource right before your guys' eyes and then it pulled it into the page. Well, what I can do is I can come over here to my existing resource and here it is right here. And even though I added it to module one, I can come over here and say, okay, let's go ahead and add that to module two as well. So I went ahead and assigned that resource to module two, okay? On the same token, if we come over here to manage resource guys, guess what? We can go ahead and choose a product and we can just sit here and add resources all day long. So how Member Hub works is you have these separate little databases and you go and you pull in all of these resources into one database. And then when you're over here on your pages, then you can go ahead and access those libraries and you can just pull in stuff as you need it, right? So if we come over here to uh, manage instructors, it's going to work the same exact way. So I'm going to say, okay, let's add a new instructor. So I'm going to say chat nicely. 
And we can have as many instructors as we want. I'm going to say this is Chad's bio. And I'm going to click Submit. Oh, before I do, let's go ahead and put in a picture. So do I have one of my existing pictures here? I would go ahead and upload my own image. And I would choose probably something on my desktop. I don't know. I got those images everywhere, right? So I would probably choose something like this or, I don't know, something like this. Just something small. I don't know. Okay. I'll just use that for now. I'll say Insert. Okay. And let's see if I did that right. Did it take it? Insert. Let's try it again. I'm trigger happy tonight. So let's try it again. Upload your own image. So, oh, I got to select it and I'll say insert. Okay, there's my image right there and I'll say submit. Okay, now my instructor, let me see if I refresh it. It should be right here. So let me try it again. My image is not here. Did I not save it? Let me try it again, guys. Upload image. Okay, I want this one. Insert. Okay, hold on. Chad nicely, and I'm going to say this is Chad's bio. Okay? And if I say submit, it did not create it. It did on the old one. Um, Karthik, you're kind of putting me on the spot here, bud. But what happens is this image, this instructor will be created here. And so then what you can do is when you're over here on your membership site and you want to go ahead and pull in an instructor, you can click this here, and you can go ahead and choose your instructor here, okay? I don't know if they have it turned off, guys. I'm making notes here. I will get this stuff turned on for you, okay? Um, so that's how that's going to work. So if we come back over here, we can go ahead, and you guys now know that you can load all your resources. You can load all your instructors. Now, who wants to know about gamification? Yes or no? You guys want to know about gamification? The most powerful feature in the whole damn software is gamification. Watch this. And hopefully, Carthrick, we don't have this turned off. All right? I'm going to come over to gamification. Here's how this works. Number one, we'll come over to manage rewards first. I'm going to add a reward. Okay? So I'm going to say uh, Amazon gift card. Okay? And this is a uh, $50 Amazon gift card. So what you're going to do is you're going to create your databases of rewards. Okay? So it could be a download, it could be a URL, or it doesn't have to be anything else. Okay? So we put a URL, so this would be my uh, Amazon gift card.com. However you choose to uh, deliver your rewards up to you. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and say submit, fingers crossed. Okay, there's my reward. We can add as many rewards as we want. We can pull them throughout the whole entire software, guys. Okay, so now that I have a reward, let's get to work. So we'll come over here to gamification. And the first thing is we have to set gamification for a specific product. So I'll come over here to video authority. All right? Now what I want to do is I want to first create a badge. So I'm going to click create new badge. And I'll go ahead and say uh, superstar. All right? And we have two different types of badges, guys. We have set it up with Video Hub to where they will receive points for doing certain things. If they watch a video module all the way through, they receive points. If they leave a testimonial for you, they receive points. If they like one of your posts, they receive points. If they leave a comment, they receive points. Or you can also assign a badge to them if they do a certain task. So let's say that we have a badge called uh, uh, Website Go-Getter, and the task was Go out there and create a website, submit the website to us, and if we approve it, then you're going to get issued this badge. So they get the website superstar badge or whatever it is. Okay? So you have two different types of badges. This badge right here is based on points. Okay? So right now I'll say, okay, I've got a superstar badge. It's based on points. And when they get this badge, I want to give them the Amazon gift card. And then I can come over here and I can change out my badge reward, my image. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. All right, now my badge has been created. I'm going to add one more badge, and I'm going to call this my website badge. Okay, this one's not based on total points. This is based on them completing a task. And once again, I'll go ahead and give them an Amazon gift card. I'll click Save. Guys, that's how fast you're going to create badges. Yes or no? Does everybody understand that? Cool. Next, we're going to go and we're going to set up goals. 
Okay, so the goal is I want you to create a new website. All right, so following the video instructions, create a website. All right, and then we can go ahead and put a choose a video here, whatever we want. We can load a video, sorry. Um, whatever we want to do. The other thing is, guys, below this goal, we can go ahead and put a user input field. That way they have to give you the answer. So this here can say, place your new URL below. Okay, so now we turn on the input field. Now we have to decide, okay, is this going to be based on issued points? Do we want to issue points for this? Like, do I want to give them 10 points? And remember, the points start adding up to um, be contributed toward that, that points badge, that superstar badge. Or do we want to go and issue a badge? And I'm going to go ahead and issue a badge, which is the website badge. And if I want to review this, meaning they don't get the badge until I've gone and reviewed the task. And by the way, this works for good $10,000 coaching programs, guys where when you're charging that much money and you tell them, look, I'm going to actually take the time and I'm going to review your guys' work before you pro uh, proceed with the rest of the training, well, guess what? Now we've set it up so you can do that. We'll go ahead and click Save. And guess what, guys? Now we just created our first goal. It's an existing badge goal. Create a new website. Okay? Yes or no? How many people understand what we just did? We just created a goal and we tied it into a specific badge. And when they're issued the badge, they receive a reward. Pretty cool, right? So watch this. We're going to come over here to this last page. It's called automation. Now, here's how this works. I'm going to say, okay, let's add a new badge. This is a points badge. I'm going to say, okay, when they hit 200 points in the site, I want you to give them the superstar badge. Boom, we click save, and there you go they will automatically be issued the superstar badge when they hit this many points in the site. Now, next thing is, let's go ahead and figure out our points. So if they finish watching a full video, I want to give them five points. If they go and download a resource, I want to give them two points. If they like something, I want to give them five points. Uh, or comments, I'm going to give them 10 points. If they like something, I'm going to give them five points. And if they leave a testimony, I'm going to give them 25 points. If they give me a written testimony, I'm going to give them 50 points. And there we go. You guys now set up your own criteria. And when they hit 200 points, they get this badge. So next, let's go ahead and say, OK, I'm going to add a new badge. The next goal is when they hit 400 points, I want to give them the Excel badge. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and use the Superstar badge again. But I think you guys understand. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And guess what, guys? They just keep working on their points because they know that they need to get this next badge. Because when they get this next badge, they now get your $297 course for free. Do you guys get this? Do you see how you're able to keep your members engaged? All of these softwares have gone out there and they said, hey, we're going to show you how to set up a membership site in two seconds flat, which hardly any of them do it. But they missed the point, right? The point is you got to keep your members engaged because when you keep them engaged, they will keep buying from you, right? Now, this is a complicated thing that we built here, but how many people get it? Just say yes or no if you get this. Yes or no, do you get it? Absolutely, right? This is cool. And you guys haven't even seen all the features yet. Okay, so now you're saying, all right, now wait a minute. Where do I see, where do my members see the points and what do they got to do? All right, so for right now, let's go ahead and come back into here, okay? I'm going to come into my membership pages and I'm going to come over here to this guy right here. Now, see this right here, guys? Now I got this box showing up here that says you haven't earned any badges yet. Click here to complete my goals. This is on every single page if you want it to show. We don't have it set up yet, but we're going to have it set up to where you can turn this off on your pages as well. But I'm going to go ahead and say, OK, let's go ahead and complete my goals. And what I need to do is I'm going to show you what they see on the front end, OK, because it's just a preview. But what's going to happen is they're going to be taken to another section where they can go ahead and complete that goal. But guess what? It gets even better because let's say that module one is the video that talks about creating your website. 
Well, let's come back into module one. Now, remember how I showed you we create this action block? Watch this, guys. I'm going to come back over to insert blocks. This time, I'm going to add a goal block. Okay? Now, a goal block can be like this, a specific type, where they're just going to click the block, and they're going to be taken to that specific area where they can complete their goal, or this type right here. So if I choose this type, since I don't have any existing ones, I'm going to go ahead and create a new goal block. So the first thing is I need to choose my goal. Watch this. Remember this goal that we just created? Okay. Let's go ahead and choose that goal. All right. Here is the goal right here. Okay. And if I had chosen a video and if I had chosen an input field and everything else, everything is going to appear right here. And if I want to choose a different color, I can do that. I can choose my text. I can do whatever. I say insert block. And now the block has been inserted. And by the way, Karthik, I gave new stock or new uh, images for these uh, placeholders. We need to put those in there. Okay? So the right block will be inserted, and then I'll go ahead and click Save. And guess what, guys? Now we have brought that specific goal into the actual video module page. So they finish watching the goal, and on the video you say, hey, there's going to be a goal right below this video. We want you to go and register your website. Let us know when you're done. And when you do that, you're going to get a $250 Amazon gift card or whatever you guys are doing. Okay? The goal is right there on the page. All right? So let's come back over here to that page. Let's go ahead and preview it. Guys, look here. Create a new website. Directions. Follow the video instructions to create a new website. Place your URL below. My URL is chadnicely.com, and I can go ahead and request my badge. Okay? And we're going to do something different with that, too. But, again, I'm in preview mode. All right? Yes or no? Do you guys feel like you understand the goals now? Do you see how powerful that is? That's awesome, right? And what we're going to do now, I forgot to do this, but we're going to have it set up to where we're going to automatically show your points here or the badge that they're going to get issued, okay? I'm going to have the team go back and listen to this webinar, guys, because I'm mentioning all the points that I'm finding. Um, but we will go ahead and have the points here so that they know how many points they get or which badge they get when they complete that goal. And by the way, they can come over here and they can complete the same goal here. So if they complete it over here in this section, then this right here is going to be marked off. Okay, and it depends if you want to have the goal set up for auto or manual. Um, so there you go. All right. Woo! A lot to cover. I thought I was going to be able to keep this short. Uh, let me see. C names. So we have C name mapping, comment mapping, SMT. Pay. That's all dealing with email. Here's your comment sections. Let me go ahead and turn this on real quick. Maybe this is why. Uh, enable, enable, enable. Yeah, the comments should be showing up. We'll get those turned on for you guys. So optional settings. So we cover gamification, managed resource, pending goals. So this is where you would go and you yourself would approve somebody who has submitted a goal to you so that they can advance to the next level. And by the way, now you guys remember when we did the drip feed and I said you have all this criteria, they have to have so many points, they have to have a completed goal, they have to finish the module, now it probably all makes sense to you. Manage instructors, manage rewards, manage testimonials. Okay, cool. So we covered levels and packages. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to come over here and I want you guys to do this. How many people have actually created a membership site already and created a product? Just say yes or no. Yes or no? Come on, guys. Give me an answer. Not fully. Okay. All right. How many people feel like they can probably do it now that they've seen this demo? Yes or no? It really is easy, guys. Oh, it is so easy. Like, I spent all this time making sure it was easy for you. I promise. Okay? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here. We're going to create a new member. So my new member is going to be Chad Nicely. Okay? My membership is going to be, what's the new one I just created? Webinar, okay? And now I can go ahead and say, okay, give Chad access to the gold level, or let's go ahead and give him the starter package or the audio upsell, okay? That's how we do that. I'm going to go ahead and sign a user uh, email, so I'll do chad at chadnicely.com, okay? And I'll do a password. I'm just going to do pass, 
Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I'll click create. All right. Member created. Mail not sent. Please check SMTP. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. All right. So now when I come back into the dashboard, guys, let me get back in there. And I'll come back into my site here. Okay. I can come over here to this guy right here and I click preview. And this is what an actual person actually sees. So let me go ahead and log in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I did that wrong. Pass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm logging in. All right, here are the products I have access to. Welcome, Chad, members since April 20th, 2016. We're still doing something different with this page here. But it, doesn't this look cool, guys? We didn't have to mess with Canva, Photoshop, nothing. Isn't that awesome? So I'll go ahead and say, okay, this is the product I want to check out. Here's my modules. I haven't put in my description, nothing else like that, but you guys understand it. So I'm going to come over here. These are the ones that I have access to. And by the way, I don't think I have access to this one right here. Check this out. Look at here. I don't have access to this, guys, but guess what? We're going to do everything we can to get you that sell. So you're saying, okay, but where is it going to go if I click the upgrade button? Well, guess what, guys? We have set it up to where you have a sales page, and if you don't want to use our sales pages, you can go ahead and put in your own, and it will automatically be linked for you. Here's the cool thing. My goal was for you guys to go and set up your membership site and just kind of do it half-assed because that's how this business works walk away, forget that you even set it up, and then all of a sudden, guys, you start getting sales, and you're going, how is that possible? Because I didn't even create a sales page, right? I, I'm not even promoting anything. And the idea is, as you get members in here, I don't care if it's free members or paid members, we are going to take care of those sales for you. Because we're going to make sure that if you have added the products and your descriptions, we're going to make sure that we're getting the sales for you. I'm going to explain why when we get to the sales pages. Okay, so this one's locked, but if I click on this one right here, now I have access. Now, remember what I showed you over here. If I click, click here to complete my goals, check out this, guys. Here is my next points badge, the superstar, and I need 200 more points to get this badge. Look down here. Here's badges I can earn right now. And what I need to do is I need to create a new website, follow the instructions to create a website, place your new URL below. Okay, so I say, yes, I want to get this badge. Okay, here it is right here, guys. Boom. I can instantly get my badge. And guess what? You can set it up to where they don't see the goal unless they have access to that module. So if you are using drip feeding and you have goals that you have created, but the drip feeding is tied to that specific goal, then they will not see that goal as well. Okay? We have really thought of everything that you guys need, everything that I need. Okay? Now, if I... If there's other members that have already earned this badge, then guess what? This right here is going to be all social proof. We're going to put all those members' pictures right here. Okay? And if I go back, let me, oh, I should have used the back arrow. Sorry. Uh, if I have earned badges, then all the badges are going to be right here. And this is going to be all of my points. Okay? Cool. Right? You guys like this? How many people like this, yes or no? I told you, man, I know I've been giving you excuses all the time, but we have been up to our eyeballs in this. And, and the reason why is because I really wanted everybody to be able to do this. Okay? So this is how we get to the front end. All right? And by the way, if I click my products, guys, um, actually, if I click my store, this is what I'm going to show you next. Guess what? This looks pretty crappy right now, but we're going to make this look good. Now, I will tell you, that if you have set all this up, and I'm kind of winging it on this, um, on this uh, webinar, but if you have actually taken the time to create all your product names, your descriptions, and you have linked everything, and this is the only page that we have here, I promise you, I promise you, people will buy on this page. They absolutely will do it as crappy as this page looks. Okay? So watch this, guys. I'm going to come back in here. Now we finish with levels and packages. Uh, let's come over here to other pages. So look, I've already started creating them for you. I know you need to have a privacy policy, terms and conditions, your store page we're going to talk about, my products we'll talk about, the news feed, and support. 
So you can come over here and you can go ahead and edit the name if you want. But then you can come over here and you can go ahead and change whatever you want on the actual page, right? So this shows you here's your pages that are on your sales page. So if you want to stop a specific product from appearing on your sales page, then you can come over here and you can go ahead and disable it, okay? Um, I'll show you that here in just a minute. But let me get back to that here, right? So if I come over here to support, let me go ahead and click this here. Check this out. And we're going to have different layouts, right? You go ahead and fill out all your details here, okay? And we're going to take care of your support page for you, all right? Um, privacy policy. Let me go ahead and see what they've done here because this has changed a little bit. Um, yeah. So I think we're going to auto-generate your privacy policy for you too. Um, but as you can see, it's very easy to do it yourself. Okay, so you can come over here and you can go ahead and preview things. You can just deactivate them, uh, whatever you want to do. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. But now, let's make things a little complicated, guys. So remember, I created three products. Just goofing around, I created three products. Okay, here's my three products. Now, the reason why these products are appearing here on their sales page is because I actually took the time and created them. So what I'm going to do for the time being, guys, is I'm going to come over here to my other site because I want to show you this one, okay? So let me come on over here, and I'll go ahead and log in. And I don't have my logo set up or anything. Uh, they're actually moving the site over to the new platform. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, Okay, maybe it's not. Let's see, chat at chatnicely.com. Maybe I didn't add. Uh, hold on just a minute. Let me just do that real quick. Am I in the right one? Hold on just a minute. Let's see. I want to be in number two. That's this one. Yeah, they haven't brought all my products over yet. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, well, let's come back in here. All right, so my products, okay, so I was in here. All right, I want to go back to the sales pages. That's where I want to go. Okay, so I'll click here, guys, sales pages. All right, here's the products I created. Now, what I can do is I can come over here to theme settings. Here are the sales pages I have down here. So I've got webinar, your product, video authority. Now, watch this. Check this out. See this little green tab? Watch for this green tab because it's going to be over here in step three too. They just haven't done it yet. But if I click this green tab, check this out. And guys, these were designed by yours truly. Okay? We can come down here and we can choose these sales page templates. So I say, okay, I want to do this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this theme. And now what's happened is this page is now on my site. How many people think that's freaking cool? Do you guys like that? Look at this. This is automatically created for you. I don't have to do anything. Now, if I want, I can come over here and I can go ahead and let's see if I can go ahead and reposition the photo. Okay. So maybe I want a little bit more water. There's my logo. Okay. So what we've done is we've made it easy to where you can go and you can change out this right here. And guess what, guys? Your packages are automatically going to come in. So this is going to be your membership levels. And then down below, we're going to feature all your products on the membership page. So this here is the membership page, okay? And these two are your products, all right? So this page, let me show you how we do this, okay? So we say, okay, I want this one right here. Um, let me go ahead and save this, okay? Uh, now let me get back to it. Here we go. So I can go ahead and edit the membership name. So I can say Chad's new webinar. Okay. I'll go ahead and click save. And by the way, I could change out my image. I could change out my description. I could do everything here. I could change out my logo. I'll go ahead and click save. All right. Now I can go ahead and add to my sales page if I want the same exact way you do it in step three. Okay, and we come over here, check this out. Remember how I told you that your members are getting points for leaving video testimonials and stuff like that? Well, guess what, guys? You are going to be able to assign 
those testimonials, which I don't have any, but you'll be able to assign them to your sales page. You'll automatically be able to bring them in. Not only that, you can go ahead and manually create testimonials too if you need to get started, right? So underneath optional settings, manage testimonials, you can come over here and you can go ahead and create a testimonial, right? So you can do a written one or you can do a video one, right? So I'll just say, uh, Chad, nice, I'll do this. I'll do Al Pacino. Okay, uh, this is such an amazing platform. And normally, uh, we'll pull all this in for you, uh, but we can go ahead and choose an image. So I'll just choose, I don't know, I'll choose this one right here, okay? And I'll say, submit my testimonial. Now, now remember, depending on the gamification, um, and I'll tie it to this product, I can even tie it to a module, but depending on the gamification, guys, um, I might receive 100 points for doing this, right? So if I'm over here on the front end, let me see if I can find it. We're always asking them to share a testimonial, right? So if they click this here, check this out. Here's where they're going to go and leave a testimonial for you. And they're going to receive points when they do it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull those testimonials into your sales page, right? So here's my testimonial right here. So if I come back over here to my sales page, okay, let's come over here and let's click this here. And, um, oh, I got to be on the right product though. So here's the product. Is it this product? Which product is it? It should pull it in. Um, it's not pulling it in, but I promise you Carthur is seeing this right now. But what happens is, we'll have it working tomorrow, is that testimonial will be right here and you'll click that testimonial and you'll pull it into the page. Here's your little quote section right here. So you can say uh, the premier course for building up video authority. Okay. And then this is um, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave it special bundle deals. I'll show you where that's at, but we can change that right here. We just wanted to make this very simple for you. But I wanted to do it to where you didn't have to change any of this stuff out. Right? I wanted to do it to where it would all change out automatically for you. Right? So um, this was not the page I set. So I'm going to go ahead and change Chad's new webinar. So let's come back over here to the theme settings. And did I save this? Oh, I did not save it. Okay. So let me click here. And we'll click apply theme. Okay. And I didn't want those colors, but that's, uh, that's not the right theme. Let me grab another theme. Is it this one or is it this one? Which one? It's my theme. And by the way, you can choose a theme that also has a, um, a video on it. So like if I want this one right here. And we're still doing a little work with the sales pages. I'm not exactly uh, happy with them yet, but they're getting there. Okay, so automatically we can go and we can put in a video for our sales page, whatever we want to do. The idea is, guys, that we're just going to default these for you and your sales page is just automatically going to be created. Okay, so I'll say apply theme. That's fine. And that works. And there's my packages and everything else. So I'll click save. And if I come back over here, and if I preview this, hopefully we have this working now. Okay, there's the sales page and I've only got one level created and I didn't create any text. All the text would be right here. And remember with a text, you can drop in videos, images, whatever you want to do. Here is where my levels would start piling up. Here is where my products would start piling up. So this is your membership sales page. So when you click on either the um, level, they're going to be asked for a payment. But if they click on this here, these are products. Well, guess what, guys? Now we're going to go and we're going to take them to that product sales page, which has two bundles on it right? So we've created all of this for you. Now, remember what I said earlier, guys, when they click on a product and they don't have access to it, remember it said, hey, sorry, you don't have access to it. And if they click, hey, I want access to it, guess what, guys? We're going to take it right here to your sales page for you, okay? And I'm not spending any time on these tonight. I'm not making them look great or anything, but I think you guys are understanding how fast you're going to be able to do this, okay? Um, so let me just show you the front end again, if I can get over there. So if I click over here to my store, all right, now you're starting to see 
what my store does. My store is going to take them to that beautiful page you have with all of your levels, all of your products, and when they click on these products, they're already all linked and they can go ahead and they can make a purchase. Okay? And this will get better and better as we go. But now, are you guys starting to see why this has taken as long as it has? It has been a monster, guys. But as you can see, my goal was when you go and create one membership, all of this is done for you instantly. And by the way, it, these two items right here, okay, this is a product. I can come over here and I can say, okay, I don't want this product to show on my sales page and I don't want this product to show in the store tab. And I can go ahead and turn those off as well. Um, this right here, if you don't like the sales page I'm giving you, then you can go ahead and click this button right here and you can put in a different link, right? And so we'll show something different than what we provided you. But I promise you, if you just spend a little bit of time, not much, because we've already brought all the packages in, we've already linked them all for you, we've already done everything for you, but if you just spend a little bit of time on your sales pages, they will look beautiful. I promise you. Matter of fact, let me try this. Let me see if I can get into my old membership site, and I'll just kind of show you what we've been playing with. So I set up an easy link here so that I can get in there real quick. Is it this one? Let's see. Okay, here we go. So watch this, guys. I'm going to come over here to my sales pages. I've just been kind of playing with these a little bit, right? And it's a small image. Uh, yeah, so this is on the old domain. Don't worry about that. It won't do that on yours. This is just a small image, guys, but look how good that looks. Like, these look good, right? I mean, we haven't even really even done anything yet. We've just been playing around, and we managed to take that small image, and we got this looking pretty good, right? And so you can see, here's my special bundle deals. Here's where I started putting text in. Here's where, you know, I, I'm just getting an idea for the placement and everything. Everything's functional. We got this meet instructor tab, my store. I mean, this is how this works, guys. It's not complicated. My goal was just to do everything for you. Okay? Now, um, I'm open to questions. I think I have covered the majority of it so far. Like I said, guys, um, this is just the beginning stages of this platform. There is so much we're going to do with this. You guys are in a good place right now. And I can promise you, nobody, nobody in their right mind will put together this much work on a platform right? Nobody. And by the way, we don't have it here, but we've also got monetization settings. You're going to be able to place a banner, webinar sign up, tickers, uh, anything you can think of, you know, video calls to actions. You're not only going to be able to do it per product. You can set it for the whole entire product. You can set it for the whole entire membership. You're going to be able to set it per page. You're going to be able to rotate out. You're going to be able to say, okay, one day I want to show the uh, video call to action. Then I want to show the banners. Then I want to show the webinar sign up. You're going to be able to do all that, guys, okay? Everything. And remember, our goal is, I've already created the templates. We've got 100 templates. We are going through and we are implementing them into the software, okay? Um, let's see. Can sales pages be added for products you have reseller rights to but won't host on Member Hub? How would we do that? I mean, we didn't. We weren't trying to create a sales page builder with it. We were just trying to make it to where sales pages were automatically generated. Let me let me give that some thought. Um, let me give it some thought. Can you clone products to add to other membership sites? You can. And I don't know if we have that turned on right now, but here's here's something cool. What if I told you that we have a Black Friday special? Okay, let's say that you guys have a Black Friday special, and in your Black Friday special, you want to have a blowout. And so in your Black Friday special, we've got all of these memberships here. So you're going to say, okay, I want to include this whole membership, and I want to include three products out of here, three products out of here, and two products out of here, and I want to call that the Black Friday special. I want to have a sales page that I can send to my list. I want access to be instantly given. I want all that done for me. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can do bundles. Um, also, you can go out there. You can create a lead capture page. And you can go, we'll give you a piece of code. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Um, with this piece of code, you can go ahead and give free access to your products if you want as well. 
So that is inside of the, what is that inside of? Let me just think here, guys. It's inside the um, levels. So let me come over here to levels packages. Let me choose the right product. Okay. Um, somewhere right here it is right here. Sign up form. Check this out. So here's your sign up URL. So this is how you can get free access to a product. And then here is HTML form where they go and they actually register for the whole entire membership. And then here, if you want to have a fancy lead capture page like with InstaBuilder or lead pages or something, check this out. Here is your lead capture form. Okay. Awesome. Will we be able to add restricted instructor login to just manage comments and gamification? Yeah, we'll figure all the admin stuff out later. Um, I'm going to have it set up kind of like easy links where you guys can see all your members, where they're at in the country, the most active members, so you can decide who you want to bring in as admins and all that stuff. Uh, so we'll have IP tracking and all that stuff. We just haven't done it yet. I honestly got over my head with the sales page settings, guys. There was a lot of logic there. It took longer than I thought, so I apologize. Uh, do you have some good ideas on how to run a good membership site with monthly subscription? I don't, but I'll tell you this much. Um, I, I don't have to do that. I just simply set up my products to uh, be monthly. And then what I do is I use Facebook and I use solo ads and I give out as much stuff as I possibly can. I give out reports, I give out lead capture pages, and what I do is I put them into a members area. So when they're in there, obviously we know how to monetize them with Member Hub, right? They're going to see products they don't have access to, they're going to see banners, they're going to see webinars, they're going to see all kinds of cool stuff. So um, the good news is... Uh, Jimmy Kim is a partner with us on this software here. He's one of my dear friends. He definitely knows his stuff. He is really good with that stuff, and so he will also be sharing some of those ideas with you guys. Cool. Um, did you guys get a lot of value out of this call, just yes or no? And there's a lot I didn't cover tonight, guys. I'm just in a hurry. I haven't eaten all day, and uh, but I just wanted to make sure you guys weren't flying blind. I can assure you um, I can – Definitely assure you that the training will be very detailed. I will do it myself. Um, yeah, I just want you to experiment. If you come over here to integrations, you can see all the integrations. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Here is Infusionsoft. Um, for those that are using Infusionsoft, we also integrate it with one shopping cart. Um, everything's here, guys. And I don't recommend that you go through the support desk right now because I will tell you right now, I got 12 people over there with Carthix team working on this software around the clock. They're not really focused on support for this right now. The best thing you could do, and have patience with me, um, I'm watching things, but um, you know, I'm also very neat in development. Like I'm actually laying things out in Photoshop myself. I'm very, very, very involved with the software, okay? So I don't see messages when they come through right away with Facebook, but I do check at least once a day. Um, the best thing you can do, guys, is on this right here, I want to show you. And we're all watching this very closely. Inside the Facebook group, there's this uh, pin post right here. Okay? And it says stick to this format. And so if you look here, I made it very easy for you. I want you to say suggestion or I want you to say bug. Those are the two things I want from you. And I just want you to put your ideas down here. Okay, and if I don't respond, don't worry about it. We are looking at these things. You can see I, resp I responded to Norm a little while ago. Um, and this is the best way to get your bugs and suggestions out there. And any ideas, any brainstorming you want to do, go ahead and just drop in um, a post right here. I want you guys to get engaged, get involved, and uh, tell us what we can do better. We put a lot of thought into this. Um, but to be honest with you guys, I am just exhausted with it. It's been in development for a year. It is an amazing platform. It's lightning fast. Um, I got a lot of plans for it, but um, this week here, I'm just kind of mellowing out, and I'm just kind of letting you guys figure it out because I really needed a break from it. Cool? Yep, you ask any questions you want as well, Richard. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, yes, there will be stats. And if you guys are seeing stuff in other platforms that you like, go ahead and let me know, okay? Do you have a planning flowchart or mind map that we can fill in? I don't yet. I'll see what I can do. I'll definitely see what I can do. Okay.
As you can see, it's a very, very, very powerful platform. Uh, somebody saying, what will beta members not get? Uh, nothing, man. You guys are in. You guys help me build out this platform. I'll make, I'll make sure you get everything. Okay? That's my promise to you. There's about 80 of you. Help me build out the platform. I'll make sure that you guys get everything. The Infusionsoft tags is there, Joseph. We already in integrated Infusionsoft. It's there. Cool. Yep. Okay, guys, that's where I'm going to conclude. Thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, do me a favor. As you guys start creating your products and your membership sites, take screenshots. Take Jing and post it in here, would you? I'd like to see that. And also, I would really appreciate, um, you know, I, I, the proper thing to do is I should have said, look, I'll make sure that you guys get everything. If you guys will start, you know, doing testimonials for us and, and doing video testimonials, stuff like that. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to honor my word. But, guys, I would really appreciate um, testimonials coming in from you. Like I said, there's 80 of you, and uh, I, I just it would really mean a lot to me. Okay? All right, guys. I will record the loading. Or record the loading. I will, <laughs> I will load the recording. It will probably be there tomorrow. Uh, unless uh, somebody else gets to it, and I will leave the link inside the membership. Okay? You guys, thank you so much. Appreciate your patience in all this, and I promise we're going to rock it out. This will be an amazing platform when it's all done. You guys take care.